How to make cutout in Canva. Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, we are going to show you how to make cutout in Canva. So this is a step-by-step -step beginner guide to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now let's get right into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to sign into our Canva account. Once signed in, choose the size that you would like to make use of. As for me, I'm going to use the presentation size, which is 16 by 9. After that, we are going to be routed to a separate page. Now here in the section, what we're going to do next is we are going to go to the left-hand panel and go to the upload section. Here in the upload section, what we're going to do is upload the file that we would want to make a cutout of. So say for example, we want to make a cutout of this image. Uh, by the way, you could also use the free images in Canva if you would like to do so. And the next step that we are going to do is to resize it according to your liking. But if you're already satisfied with it, then you can leave it as is. So let me just resize it. By the way, this tutorial is only applicable for Canva Pro users and not for the Canva free users. So there. Now that I have resized the photo, the next thing that I am going to do is go to the edit photo section in the upper corner. Here in the left hand side, we can actually see background remover. So the background remover is only applicable for pro users. There. As you can see, the background image has been deleted. You could also add filters if you would want to add some colors onto your cutout. Another thing that you could do is that we can go add some shadows and make an outline of it. So it would be easier to cut out the image if you're going to print it out and if you're gonna sell it as a sticker if we do have an outline. Now for the color, I'm gonna make it white. There. Alright, and basically, that's how you can make a cutout in Canva. That's about it for today's video, guys. I hope that you find this tutorial helpful, and thank you so much for watching.